welcome friends to irgo e learning irgo e learning offers courses in energy and sustainability energy conservation and green building design are our core aspects and we also have training provided in energy modeling so this particular course is about building envelope and in that we will be talking about different features of building envelope and their design guidelines so let us have a look at what is there in this course Fenestration plays a very important role in design of any building exterior and hence how the fenestration is decided considering three major parameter that is solar heat gain coefficient u factor and visual transmittance that is discussed in this video series there is a detailed guidelines about deciding glazing that is to be selected for a video for this building envelope how to have high performance glazing selected and how to design it considering other aspects of building geometry that is discussed over here as shown over here multi pan windows how they are benefited compared to single fan pan window that is discussed three major solar radiation parameters they are uh, ultraviolet rays visible rays and infrared rays so how to consider glazing so that the solar heat gain is minimized especially in hot and humid climate that is a goal of designing this course there are some important tips given to have final decision of selecting glazing so we will have a look at all this inputs in that following the fenestration there is a detailing of air leakage air which enters to the building or air which is going out of the building that is that always comes with the penalty of hvac load so what is infiltration as well as what is exfiltration they are been discussed over here their causes are also been explained so that there can be minimized as maximum as possible there is uh, what are the major results of forming of this infiltration and exfiltration they are discussed in this video series and how to overcome them how to select the insulation material air retarding material barriers so that the moisture as well as air and air entering to this building can be minimized so a building ceiling is a very important parameter when we talk of execution of a building making process so which points to be considered at the execution stage of the building so that the building can be airtight one then there is a detailing given for orientation of the building properly oriented building can have a best building performance achieved so with respect to location of the building how its orientation should be that discussion is there then if the building is likely to have a lot of solar heat load then what are the options to avoid that solar heat load by providing proper shading on the building that is mentioned over here also there is a role played by cross ventilation to reduce mechanical hvac load so that is also mentioned over here as usual there are technical tips mentioned for orientation so at the design stage if this tips are been considered it can have a very much reduced cost of hvac load as well as the life cycle cost of many component can be reduced moisture management is very critical in humid climates and what are the reasons of moisture addition that is mentioned over here how to prevent moisture addition and if moisture is added to the building how it can be removed out or what balancing of moisture is that is narrated in this course comes next in this video series is about mention of cool roof heat is transmitted to the building some of heat that is absorbed by the building and some is emitted back so how to have a proper selection of a roof material so that minimum heat is added in a hot climate and maximum heat is added in cold climate that is mentioned over here certain uh, compliance standards for all types of insulations they are mentioned over here very known term in nowadays that is urban heat island effect and how to overcome that or what are the consequences of that that is part of this series 
Next comes in this series is about skylights. Different consideration, different designs of skylights, they are discussed. How it can be mounted on the roof, that is discussed. What should be maximum allowable area for the skylight, for the complying of the building standard, that is also listed over here. Curb mounted and a flat mounted types of skylights and their comparisons is given. Skylight also play a very important role in daylighting and next topic is daylighting wherein how to enhance daylighting so that building performance can have maximum effect. Also the occupants in the perimeter zone can have better working environment that is discussed over here. At the same time, the daylighting should not end up with the glare and excessive solar heat load that is discussed in this series. Different options available for exterior shedding, interior light distribution and controls. They are also part of this video series. So as like other topics here again, there is a long list of technical tips. They need to be considered while designing any building. Coming next is different topics related to building envelopes like how to select overhangs, what is opaque wall and their standards, what is insulation, what is effective aperture. They are all have mentioned in this video series. So there are uh, complying standards and limits for different compliances that is mentioned. What is overhang projection factor and how to calculate that that is shown over here. Visible transmission of glazing that is very important when we select glazing. So they are explained from fundamentals that what is it and how it can be reduced for a particular application. At the same time, it should not compromise the lighting level requirement. Insulation itself is a huge topic, but here there is some mention of insulation because insulation is a most important part of building envelopes. So what is thermal insulation used in different types of building envelopes? What role it has to play? How it has to be applied for better performance and longer life cycle? That is mentioned over here. Fundamental of insulation like what, are, what is their R value? How they are being compared? What are different types of insulation? That is mentioned over here. HVAC itself is a detailed topic and we have many courses related to HVAC but just to have consideration from building envelope point of view here there is some mention about HVAC selection and installation tips so this is a, a short guide for HVAC you can consider that way so this course is definitely going to helpful to the consultants who are working with building envelope or designing of the building to the architects to the facility manager, to the building auditor and to energy and water auditors. So if you are one of them and interested to enhance your building envelope design, please join for this course. You can also visit this website to know about other courses launched by us. Thank you.